Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I want to talk about the end of life of Windows Server 2003. A couple of articles have turned up recently pointing out that Microsoft is going to discontinue the extended support for Windows Server 2003, which was a very popular server product from Microsoft. In fact, according to some reports, there's over 11 million servers that still use Server 2003. Now this of course has security implications. As soon as they end of life it, it means there's going to be no more security updates. Yet there's still plenty of flaws in 2003. If you followed Microsoft Patch Day for the past few months, there have been flaws in 2003 to this day. So this kind of puts us into an issue that we just went through with Windows XP. It's a popular enough operating system that people still use it, and yet it's going to become increasingly more vulnerable as it goes without patches. So the takeaway here is quite simple. As an administrator, if you're using Server 2003, you need to start planning your migration path if you haven't already. Server 2012 has been out for a while and works quite well. Now do know that security vendors like WatchGuard are not going to abandon you. You know, as bad guys still make attacks that work against a Windows Server 2003 or malware that happens to work on Windows Server 2003, we're not going to discontinue creating IP signatures or antivirus signatures that will catch those attacks and malware. So having a security appliance, having security controls can help mitigate this particular risk. That said, you always want to keep servers patched and you have compliance to think about too, which does say your servers have to be up to date. So if you haven't thought about Windows Server 2003 migration, start thinking about it now. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.